Are you looking for thick, long and healthy hair? Watch till the end to find out how to achieve this with these amazing ingredients I'm just about to show you. Hello, hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My channel is about hair care, skin care and beauty tips. If this is something that interests you, then you have come to the right place. Join the family by clicking the subscription box below and I promise you, you won't be disappointed. So that you can keep up to date with my tips and guides to a more beautiful you. These are the ingredients you'll need for this mixture. Uh, fenugreek powder, honey, essential oil of your choice, I'll use peppermint oil, and ginger. You'll need to mince the ginger and extract the juice uh, leaving behind the residue. Or if you forget, it will leave actually some flakes in your hair. So if you watch till the end of this video, because I did forget to extract the juice, you'll see uh, some of the flakes in my hair. Then go ahead and take three or four spoons of fenugreek powder. Then add all these ingredients together. Then you go ahead and mix them. The thing I'll let you know is that uh, these ingredients or this mixture do actually thicken up as time goes. So you might need to be adding more and more water as time goes by. Go ahead and blend them together and in this video we are going to talk about all the importance of these ingredients we've mixed together. This is how it came out and this is when it's thick. Some people like to use it when it's thick and some people like to use it when it's not thick. So I'm going to start by using the thick one. Then I'm going to add water just to show you how it looks like. Then you want to go ahead and put your hair in sections as working in section makes this process so easy and also makes the product to penetrate deep in your strand and also on your scalp. So I'm going to start with the thick mixture and this is how it looks like. So what are some of the importance of using fenugreek? Fenugreek actually helps to prevent hair loss. So if you want that long and thick hair, you must prevent the ones you have already. And fenugreek conditions and moisture your scalp and hair deeply. This actually helps the hair strands to be stronger and prevent unwanted shading. I went ahead and added water in the mixture and this is how it looks like. It's more manageable while you have more water in it. So you can see my curls popping. So I'm just making sure I go in every, every strand by detangling with my fingers. Another importance of fenugreek is that it revives damaged hair. So it contains a proteins and amino acid which helps to prepare hair from damages, hence boost the dehydration in your strands, thus promoting thick hair and growth. So this is a very good stuff for your hair. So you can see how my hair is and it makes my curls to pop out. Fenugreek also contains antifungal and antibacterial properties which helps with to fight dandruffs. 
and it is scalp by controlling the infection causing bacteria and yeast on your scalp. Fenugreek also had shine and softer texture by maintaining the moisture barrier in your hair strand. So you uh, you will be getting as your hair will be softer and also your hair will be more shiny. You also want to add honey in your hair care routine as honey helps uh, to further moisture the hair. And also ginger helps to uh, improve circulation of blood to the scalp while stimulating each hair follicles which in turn promote natural hair growth. Fenugreek also has a strong aroma so you might want to leave it for some few minutes for the aroma to settle down before you put it in your hair. We So I went ahead and added more water in the mixture and I find it more manageable when it's not that thick. Go ahead and try it in your hair and let me know on the comment section below which one you like. Do you like it more thick or do you like it when it's not that thick? It depends with your hair type so sometimes your hair might be might like it thick or sometimes your hair might like it not more thick so my hair likes it when it's actually there is more water in the mixture For this mixture to work well on you, you want to make sure you put it all over your hair and make sure it's all over your scalp so that uh, you get the good benefits of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it all over my hair and then I'll show you how it looks like.
then you can go ahead and take a shower cape or if you don't have a shower cape you can use plastic carrier bags and put in your hair this one helps your hair to absorb more moisture from the mixture then i went ahead because the shower cap i had was small i went ahead and took my bin liner because it's big enough then you want to leave it for 20 or 30 minutes depending on how your hair absorbs uh, moisture then this was me after 30 minutes because i wanted to leave it for longer so that my hair gets the good benefits of it and this is how my hair looks like your hair might look different from mine it depends with how your hair absorbs the moisture then you want to go ahead and wash your hair this is how my hair is and because i forgot to to extract the juice from the ginger i have a little bit of flake in it but still after this you can go ahead and use the conditioner of your choice and wash your hair with so i'm just going back to wash my hair with the conditioner then don't worry if you forget to remove the ginger you can leave your hair to dry then your finger detangle and the flakes will come out don't try to remove the flakes while your hair is wet otherwise you're going to damage your hair My hair feels soft, conditioned and nourished. I feel like my hair is so very nice and very soft. Go ahead and try this on your hair and I'll really love to hear from you on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.